Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Boomer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about my Rocket League settings uh, and my warm up routine, since a lot of people have been asking for both. Um, I already do have a settings video up on the channel, but I figured I might as well update uh, since I think it's been almost two years since that video has been out. Uh, I'm not so sure. But before I get to that, I just want to give you guys a massive, massive thank you because I've gotten nothing but absolute positive feedback on these videos. Um, and as of recording, we have gone from 200 subs to 1.2k. Um, and I'm really, really glad these videos are helping people out. But that being said, some of, uh, some of you were telling me to take my time and not burn out on things, which is, it's really kind and, and, uh, thoughtful of you guys. Those of you who have been in stream know I've been struggling with chronic ongoing health issues for the past three years. Um, it's really assuring to see people not just demanding more from me. So I really appreciate you guys' patience. Uh, obviously my health is the number one priority um, and I'm really trying to get that sorted this year so we can absolutely evolve the content uh, into something even more special. Um, anyway, I digress. In the meantime, I just want to update you guys on what I have recorded already. Um, I just need to edit all of this. Uh, but the list so far is flip manipulations, brake tabs, power sliding, or how to power slide effectively, um, how to play around solo queue teammates in 2v2, somebody asked for a higher level mechanics tutorial, so I'm not really sure uh, how specific they wanted that to be, uh, momentum, like a whole video on momentum, because I'm the more and more I do these tutorials, the more and more I'm realizing uh, how important uh, momentum is in this game. I'm also going to make a why all of your teammates suck uh, video um, and that's basically because Rocket League lacks structure in how it's played so that'll be like a whole ranting video um, I have a simple air dribble tutorial coming up single single flip reset tutorial coming up uh, boost management tutorial um, 2v2 momentum and positioning part 3 because it seems like you, there's still some things that are pretty unclear for you guys uh, from the first two videos for that so I'm going to make a third one and, and really try to go in depth for, for some of the questions you guys had. And then the last thing is obviously my settings and warm-up routine. So let's get right into the settings. I'm sorry to make you guys wait so long. but uh, This is currently what I'm using for camera settings. Um, my distance usually goes in between 260 to 270. I don't really, I don't really change these too much. Uh, this is just what's comfortable for me personally. Um, my field of view, I'll usually go to 108. Um, that's that's something I don't really do often. Uh, but if I'm like feeling a little bit off, I might I might mess up my FOV. Uh, distance, I usually stay between 90 or 110. 110 is very specific if I'm playing one stiffness. Uh, but I have not touched one stiffness in a minute, so I usually am just using this. This is what's comfortable. 45 is like a nice in between ground because i feel like anything in the 30s is too much um and too far from the car when it zooms out and then 50 and above is usually a little too stiff for me so 45 or 40 are usually my my comfortable uh stiffness settings angle i don't really change this from negative four um if i'm gonna play 100 height i'll usually go to negative five but i've been playing 90 height i've been enjoying 90 height feels good for my ground play and my aerials so that's why I'm using that. Civil speed and transition speed I never, ever touch. Uh, this is what I've been using for the longest time. For those of you that don't know, uh, swivel speed is like, I believe is your, your analog stick. And transition speed is, yeah, from the ball cam to car cam. And so uh, 420 for me when I'm like looking around trying to get information. So like if the ball is behind me, the play is behind me, I just like to do a little little like information check or like if i gotta look down and see if the person has it like whatever uh these are my steering and aerial sensitivities um and my controller dead zone is usually 0.5 but my controller's recently been getting a little bit of stick drift so i bumped it up just a little bit um and then dodge dead zone i never really change on ps4 this is like the perfect dodge dead zone for me so that i don't backflip uh when i'm trying to do quick aerial um, and then here are my binds. If you guys are curious, I play Claw. So I play complete default binds. The only difference is I keep my power slide and air roll on the same 
free air roll by the way um on the same square button other than that i have complete default binds with air roll right on r1 so those are my binds uh video settings for any of you guys that are curious um i usually turn all of the stuff off and have these on the lowest settings possible right because I'm trying to get the best performance out of my game as possible. V-Sync off, obviously, do not have that on. Um, and I put in a 280 Hz monitor. Sometimes if it, if, if, if 280 is not feeling right, I'll bump it down to 240. There is like a, a difference for me between these two settings, but I pretty much have been on 180, or sorry, 180, 280 for a little while now. Uh, yeah, those are my settings. So let's get into the warm-up routine. I don't really have like a set in stone like way to warm up. I've never really thought about it that way. Um, but if anything, like my warm up stays pretty consistent overall. I'll usually like the first thing I do is I just go on free play to check how my game's gonna behave that day. Because uh, like I said, and I've mentioned before, I do have a little bit of a desync issue within my game at the moment. So I'm still trying to find a uh, a good solution to fixing that. So I'll usually go on free play and just like test it out. Most of the time I can feel it with the very first speed flip. If it's going to be like a bad day or not. Uh, mechanics wise. And I'll literally just start hitting the ball around. This is like one of my favorite ways to get my hands warm like as soon as I get on the game. And then once, uh, once I've done enough of this or once I've scored enough like times then I, uh, I decide if I'm going to do a training pack or not. One training pack that I have been doing for, for a long, long time uh, is Squishy's. Squishy has a very, very good training pack um, that he made a video on, like, I want to say a few years ago, um, and it's called Little Bit of Everything. Um, you, I'm sure you guys can just type in, like, Squishy training pack on YouTube, and you'll probably find this video here. Uh, and he tells you exactly how you should be doing uh, each one of these shots. Uh, sometimes if I'm feeling, like, really bad... I prefer to do advanced mechanics, so I have made some of my own. Um, I'm sure if, if those of you guys who have seen the TikToks that I made, um, I took a lot of RLCS shots um, and I recreated them in like a training pack so that you could go like put yourself in, you know, obviously the the player's shoes and, and try to score it. Um, so these are just some of the ones that I've made. I'll, uh, I'll tab over them in case any of you guys want the code. Um, and if you want to know how to do the shot, you can go find them on my TikTok. Uh, I don't really plug my TikTok, but this is usually my, my favorite one. This is just like, I realized at this point in the game, like I've scored pretty much anything that I've wanted to. Triple flip resets, like musty to the backboard, pancake double, like whatever. Whatever that I wanted to score, I'm not a freestyler or anything like that. So anything that I've been able to viably score in a comp match, uh, I've pretty much hit it already. But the one thing that I have yet to score in a comp match is like a backboard or a corner psycho. And I've been robbed like quite a few times. Uh, I just want to show off some of, the, some of the attempts here. So I really wanted to make a training pack for myself to practice sidewall reads. I mean, I've scored sidewall reads, like sidewall skimmers. Uh, that's just I think it's one of the one of the shots in the pack. This is psycho attempted here, and we lose four to nothing, which is hilarious. Ah, uh, it's probably here. Yeah. So this one would have been cool. Like I had the actual setup, I just didn't do the like little arrow left right wobble to actually get the the skim. I kind of just flew underneath it. That one's really dumb. I have like so many of these, bro. Uh, and it's really upsetting to me just because it's something I've been putting a lot of practice into. And I just have not hit one in game yet. This is this would have been a nice corner one. Psycho. I you can see I've like recently I've I've been going for the shot a lot more uh in game. This one is just like upsetting to me. It's funny because of the car that I'm in. Like, this one is just a straight. Get robbed, bro. Like, hello? But you guys get the point. Like, I have, uh, I've been trying to go for this type of shot for a while now. <laughs> Here's another example. Good setup to my own backboard. 
Like, I, I mean, I get a good touch on it, but it's just, it's not as cool, right, if you don't score it. So you can see, like, if I get this on target, it would definitely catch the opponents out, because it's, like, the last thing that they expect. Alright, so yeah, this is another one of my Psycho setups. This is, like, a dream Psycho setup, and this one really, really got to me. Because I fucking touched it, bro. <laughs> like, and it would have been a goal, too. Like, if you guys just... If you just listen, you can hear you can hear my undercarriage come off the bottom of the ball. This one is very annoying, and, and the correction is definitely there. Like I would have a hundred percent scored it if it just gave me the skimmer. Like hello, Rocket League. Hello. Am I not touching this ball, Rocket League? Where's my hitbox, bro? And like, look at where I'm aiming, bro. Oh my god. Somebody put a counter on the screen for how many times I said bro in this video. Bro. <laughs> like, look at these guys. They, there's no, like, thought in their head that I am going to hit this. They're both at midfield. And if I do hit this, it is definitely going in their net. Gosh, so annoying, bro. But yeah. So... Uh... This training pack and I'll, I'll take you guys through there's the code again in case you guys didn't get it all right so now i'm gonna take you guys through this training pack so you know how to do it um obviously this is a little bit of a higher level training pack if you are low rank you can go ahead and give it an attempt but i don't really think this is the type of stuff you should be focusing on uh setting up in a game the whole point of me doing a training pack like this is i present myself a challenge like as soon as i get on the game Right, I'm trying to warm up all of my mechanics total, like just total warm up. Um, these type of shots for me make uh, just my basic mechanics warm up a lot quicker. So quick aerialing, stuff like that. Uh, so this first one was an example from a threes game where I had missed this touch, where I missed the skimmer. Um, and I'm trying to shoot it like across. Like I got an example for you. Right, so I found a, uh, a good sidewall example. This is what I meant by, like, I want it across. I want to shoot the opposite angle, so rather than shooting the close angle, I want to shoot the far angle. Uh, and if you, if you like, look at this from the opponent's POV, it's, like, it's really weird to see that type of shot, and hard, it's, it's pretty hard to react to, just because this game is, like, really, really nice. Okay, this one is just, like, a normal backboard psycho. There you go, there's a good example of the first shot. Ideally, I try to get these cycles so that they don't bounce, right? Because in a real game, if you're going to go for something like this, uh, you obviously don't want it to bounce. That's like a example of that one. This is a corner psycho now. This one you just want to jump at. You just want to jump, hit it into the middle part of the corner. So what I mean by that is you want to hit it into this part of the corner right here. So that it bounces out this way. And that's where you're coming to your skimmer from, right? Ooh! There you go. That's a much better example. A little 122. I think the fastest I scored was like during stream, and that was probably like a 144 across the map, and it was on the right side of the net. But yeah, that's how you do that shot. This one is just like a creative like corner double. This is. I think I just tried to remake the one that was in Squishy's pack because I wanted it in my own. Um, but I think I hit it too too slow. This one, I, like, what I do here is obviously you can just corner double tap, but I try to go for, I try to hit this like high to the corner so that I can go for a reset to the backboard. Oh no, I'm too slow. Um, and then double it. Ooh, I feel like that would have been a good example, but I didn't get the reset. Obviously, the corner double is a little too easy for me now, so I want to mix it up. Ooh, I'm almost a freestyler. Yeah, you guys can get pretty creative with that corner double tab. And then this one is just a backboard psycho again. So this is almost like somebody, you're in transition play, like rotating, and somebody bangs it towards your net. And then you're just up for it and you're trying to trying to not hit it into the, the waterfall. 
Then you're gonna own goal. Yeah, I forgot who I saw. It was somebody who shot on Twitter that hit this. And I really wanted to, to make one so I could practice this type of shot. And this is probably the most like common opportunity you get to go for a psycho. Um, but yeah. That's uh that's the training pack that I do. If I'm gonna do those are the two training packs that I do. Um if I do need a training pack warm up. So squishies, a little bit of everything, and then my own uh cycle read. And I would encourage you guys like if you know what you struggle with and you know what you want to do, go go make your own and, and make your own setups. And and then make it hard for yourself to actually hit the type of shot, right? Like obviously you can you can practice until you hit the shot that you want, but uh, I'm somebody who always believed in like don't practice until you hit it, practice until you can't miss it. Um and then like last thing I would recommend is if you're really feeling like bad on the day, or you're you're feeling your car is like heavy or whatever. Uh, a lot of people know this already, but a little slow mo can't hurt. Uh, my game already feels pretty pretty decently fast today, so I don't think I would do a slow mo. But for those of you that don't know, I'll just show you how to set it up for yourself. So you go into private match, you hit create private match, mutator settings. You can do as as long as you'd like. I only do five minute warm up though, because that's enough for your brain to get used to the slow mo and the placebo to take effect. Um, then I would usually do, uh, unlimited boost so that it's like, it's free play to me. Um, and then I turn respawn time to disable goal reset. So what this does is when I go and do this, um, there's no like break after I score a goal. Um, so the ball just spawns right back in the middle. So it's, it's more like free play than anything. Oh, I didn't do slow-mo, but, uh, anyway, there you guys go. So you can see. Then I can just go, like, set up whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you can just keep going and do that for five minutes. And then, you know, if you don't even want to do private match, you can do the one in free play. But me personally, I don't enjoy this one in free play because it, it was a little buggy when it came out. Because um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't keep your game on slow-mo after you score. Or it, like, comes out of slow-mo. So you can see it's still slow-mo here. But I'm pretty sure it like breaks. Yep, there you go. It breaks. So honestly, you probably don't want to like spend all your time in free play like having to swap that back every single time. So uh, I would prefer that. You can also use a uh, Bacchus mod. Oh, uh, but yeah. And then after that, I'll literally just do like another few minutes of free play. And then once I'm feeling like really good, I'll start doing like all the uh, the fancy mechs like uh, chain resets, like whatever. I focus on getting the, the touches that I'm going to get in game, right? Because this is like a setup that I could get in a game. And then I'm like, okay. I got to act like... You got to... I, I At least for me, I don't know about everybody else. But when I go in free play, I pretend like I'm being defended. Uh, but yeah. I also like... If I'm going to play ones that day, I would focus on like my flicks. So I practice doing like musties. Practice doing like 180s. Stuff like that. Uh, quick 45s. So that I can like go bump the player, like whatever, uh, air dribble pops like this, right? Air dribble bump, whatever. Uh, but the, it's really dependent on like how I'm feeling. I usually just drive around and do the same. I'm sure if you guys watch me stream a lot, I usually do the exact same things. That is my my training regimen. So it's not anything too complicated, but uh, I think everybody needs to try to find their own and cater to their own needs. But the important thing is to train with purpose. Right. Uh, but yeah, look forward to the the next videos, guys. Uh, like I said, that Lethal Company uh, quick cut montage is coming. I'm sorry, so sorry for the delay. It was I wanted it to be literally the first video I had up uh, after the new year, but uh, I had to go through like six hours worth of footage. But yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to get that up. The Masters of the Craft series is coming back for the guys. For those of you guys that don't know or haven't seen it, the Masters of the Craft series, it only has one episode right now, and it's with Ghost Hana. Um, and that series obviously is going to begin in Rocket League, so I believe the first like few episodes are with Rocket League uh, collaborations, so I collab with some, some big name Rocket League people. Um, but the whole idea of the series is to obviously get people who have mastered a craft onto the show. 
Um, and I have a bunch more lined up that have nothing to do with gaming at all. So um, I really I just have to sit down and, and edit everything. I'm trying to keep up with my own uh, my own goals, my own pacing. So uh, please continue with your uh, your patience. <laughs> but yeah, if this this video helped you guys at all, uh, please leave a like, share, and sub. Uh, make sure you guys hit the noti bell and join the Discord to stay up to date with when I go live or post. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one or on stream. Much love as always and peace.